hello and welcome to Top 5 Friday. I'm your host Tim Kant and this time you're in for a treat because I've got something very special to show you. My wah. That's right, wet ass reverbs. There's some verbs in this house. Let's check them out. Smart Reverb has become self-aware at 5. Who got the keys to my uh, shimmer verb at 4? We're serving up a perfect plate XL at 3. Paragon is a model of excellence at 2. And Neoverb is the chosen one at the top spot. At 5, it's Smart Reverb by Sonable. This AI-assisted reverb builds a profile based on your actual audio signal and lets you balance the reverb tone between rich and intimate, natural and artificial, or anywhere in between. There's a master reverb time control to make things longer or shorter, and the graph display lets you customize how the reverb sound changes with frequency. Next, there are three envelopes, one for decay, one for spread, one for density, which you can tailor over time. Of course, there's more, including high and low filtering, freeze and infinite functions, and width, color, and clarity controls to hone the type of sound you want if the AI doesn't give you what you're after. Smart Reverb costs you 129 euros. Okay, let's check out the artificial intelligence powered capabilities of Smart Reverb. I'm gonna bypass the plugin so I can play you the dry guitar audio we've got. All very nice. Um, so we're gonna select the guitar profile and click the start learning button. So uh, let's play some audio back for it. There we go, and as quickly as that, it's created a reverb profile for us that we can have a muck about with. We've got these, this XY pad here that gives us choice between intimate and rich and artificial and natural. Let's just muck about with that. You can get uh, some subtle differences to the sound there and you can also go in and uh, move these things around yourself manually. So what this is doing is controlling decay over time on the x-axis and frequency range on the y-axis. So let's, let's just move everything manually ourselves and real bunch it up and I'll show you what moving one of these bits out does because it's not immediately intuitive I would say. So you've got that. Now, what if we move this bad boy out? Oh, you hearing the highs? Let's whack this one out as well. And let's, let's go for the bottom instead. Let's have a long decay on that bottom. Hear what that does. So yeah, you get a bit of a weird sort of filtery effect. And of course, Doing a more kind of naturalistic sounding thing, you'll get something that sounds a bit more realistic. In fact, we can go back to our profile we've created by just clicking that button there. And you can also control stuff like the spread over the time and kind of width. So that's real mono, that's real wide. And you can muck about with the density as well. Interesting take on artificially intelligent reverb effects from Sonable there. At four, it's Shimmerver by Eventide. From Eventide's H9 series of plugins with tech culls from their legendary reverb and pitch shifting hardware comes Shimmerverb. This is a single plugin recreation of the shimmering effect that Eventide gear can achieve through a combination of reverb and pitch shifting. The controls are specialized to take command over this shimmering effect, giving you a size control, two pitch shifting parameters, delay feedback, and some EQ business too. There's also a freeze function to pull off a few more tricks. Shimmer Verb will set you back 99 euros in its regular price. So yeah, Shimmer Verb is an absolute flipping banger, guys. I really feel like it takes all the cool stuff that Eventide do with pitch shifting and reverb, puts them into one. Very reasonably priced package. That sounds flipping great. Um, I'm gonna start off turning the mix down to zero. I'm gonna play you my little demo sound we got here. It's just a little ravey stab. Very nice. So we turn up the mix and we start to get a bit of that reverb and pitch shifting. So you've got your basic uh, decay and size controls here, your regular reverb stuff. But 
what's really cool are the uh, pitch shifters. So you can tune these around. Let's go for just like a fifth up and then, yeah, maybe a couple of octaves. Let's see how that sounds. That's a little bit more feedback, a bit more decay, a bit more size. Let's go up on the mix as well. Oh, isn't it nice? Maybe have a little more delay on there. Let's make a real soundscape. Oh yeah. And uh, you've got some EQ controls here. So you can smooth out that high end. Got a feedback control, which as you can see is assigned to, to this macro and you can assign anything to that macro that you like. And there's a freeze control as well. So let's try and play something freeze worthy. And that'll hang on forever. But you can't move these because they're bypassed, but you can still change the size. So yeah, if you're after some ethereal reverb majesty, look no further than Shimmer Verb. It's a corker, guys. At three, it's Perfect Plate XL by Denise. Powered by Denise's TX Verb TM technology, Perfect Plate XL emulates the classic sound of hardware plate reverbs with some useful new school twists, including detune and saturation controls, a resonator for creating special effects, a ducker for keeping your dry signal clear, and an EQ graph for adjusting the reverb's color. Perfect Plate XL will set you back 99 euro, and there's a more streamlined version in the form of Perfect Plate, which costs just 49 euro. Perfect Plate XL might look like an unassuming reverb effect, and it kind of is, but there's some wicked stuff under the hood that I believe makes it excel at creating special effects and general weirdness. I'm gonna start off by turning down the reverb mix to zero so we can hear our dry audio example here. Let's listen. It's just some techno stabs, guys. With a little bit of filter funkiness on the end. Let's turn the reverb back up. And you've got all your standard reverb controls down here and some up here as well. What I find particularly interesting are these five extra goodies here. Let's muck about with them. Uh, you can turn them on and off with the knobs and you can control their level with these faders here. And then you click on to bring up their parameters. So you've got three resonators here. I'm just gonna focus on the resonator one, turn it up a bit. We can tune it. Oh, there we go. A sharp, lovely. Now let's uh, add some drive, why not? Let's make it bitey. Ah! Oh, crazy noises. Now the rotate section delivers us some uh, tempo, sync effects. Oh, you've got your vibrato and a tremolo. <laughs> and you can go get some crazy pumping effects. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, and then uh, detune. So that's kind of wow and shake, basically. And you've got speed control for those. 100% speed, lads. Uh, and then you've got your ducker, which kind of ducks the reverb signal when the um, dry signal plays. Oh, Lord. So you can do some really crazy stuff. I mean, that's a bit wonky, but let's have a listen to some presets to show it off. Oh. So yes, oh my lord, you can get some really quite uh, <laughs> extreme sounds with them. You'll notice there's also a uh, graphical e Ooh, EQ for shaping things. Yeah, just, I mean, it's, it feels a bit more like a kind of special effect than a standard plate reverb. And it's a great plate reverb as well. So. Oh my lord. Rotating psychedelia. I'll leave you with that one. Perfect Plate XL by Denise Audio. It's got loads of weirdness up its little digital sleeves. The two is Paragon by New Gen Audio. A convolution reverb with the flexibility and control set of an algorithmic reverb, Paragon aims to give you the best of both worlds. The reverb signals themselves are created from expertly recorded real spaces, 
but you can tweak properties like decay, room size and brightness to fine tune your chosen reverb signal's response. If you're after the ultimate in control, you can adjust the spectral amplitude and decay responses, and TV and film types will be delighted by its Dolby Atmos capabilities, operating in up to 7.1.2 surround channels. Let's make a gigantic epic soundscape with a Paragon. This is the main screen. What I like though is in the impulse response screen, you have these test sounds that you can use to test out your reverb. We've got the default preset ad presence here. Let's uh, have a little bit of singing short. Very lovely. If we turn up the mix, we can uh, just hear the pure reverb on its own. Okay, so that's a real kind of small intimate sound. Let's go for something a bit bigger. Maybe a large theater that might be appropriate for this uh, vocal. Let's have a listen to this. Very lovely indeed. Let's turn down the mix so we get a bit of that direct feed. Yeah. You know, I reckon we can have a little bit more reverb in there. Quite delightful. Okay, let's say we want to make it a lot, a lot bigger. Well, Paragon can flip in, resynthesize its impulse responses so you can muck about with stuff loads. Let's whack up the size and the decay and the brightness. Why not? Now let's have a listen to this vocal, see what it does. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, just listen to that tail. It's gorgeous. Um, also, there's uh, amplitude and decay spectral controls here. So if we, uh, if we want to pick out a particular frequency here that we're going to boost a bit. Now, I've got to be careful with this because this might, this might make it sound crazy, but uh, let's give it a go. Yeah. Oh, you get the idea. Let's uh, let's uh, take that down a bit. We'll uh, add another one. Put some. Uh, if I think if I want to keep it interesting in the highs, let's have another go. All very cool and atmospheric. And you know what? You can keep the same settings. Load in a different IR. How about the packing room? I sure spend a lot of time in there. Let's see uh, hear how this sounds. Clearly, for big sonic soundscapes, a Paragon is a very, very powerful plugin. And if you're doing a surround sound stuff as well, got you covered, baby. So why not uh, check it out? And at number one, it's Neoverb by Isotope. Neoverb is a reverb plugin that offers you a variety of ways to get your ideal reverb sound. This blend pad makes mixing between the three types of reverb easy and you can customize the behaviors of the reverbs themselves in the advanced pullout. Plus, there's masking reduction to ensure everything sits satisfyingly in the mix. But the smartest thing about Neoverb is its reverb assistant, which can analyze your audio and build a reverb profile to match it. Neoverb is $249 with various upgrade options for owners of other Isotope products. Let's check out the reverb assistant of Neoverb. It's designed to make your life easy by doing stuff for you. Uh, we've got a, a dry vocal here to demonstrate it. So let's turn down the dry wet mix to a 100% dry so we can hear this dry dry vocal on its own. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very nice. Let's all whack that back up to 50. And then I'm going to activate the reverb assistant by clicking it. Now it says play audio and begin. So what we're going to do is we're going to play some audio and muck about with these various choices it's presented us with. So let's have a listen. So I feel I want something dramatic to show this off. Oh, that's nice. Let's uh, change the size. Maybe something a little bit smaller. Oh, I like it extra small. Maybe we'll turn down the dry wet a little. Choose a tone. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe we can have a bit 
bit more airiness. That's sounding nice. So we click the next button next, and now it's doing the unmasking stuff, which is gonna make it sound super lovely. And the overb analyzes the audio. You just sit back and chill. Here's a suggestion to get you started. Okay, Neo Verba, let's see what you got. Sounding classy. Now, what we can do is muck about with this blend pad here and uh, move between the early reflections, the plate, which can also be a medium chamber or a room, and the hall, which can also be a large chamber. So let's have a muck about with the blend pad out. And of course you can automate this stuff to have little moments in your track. You've got some mod elation effect going on here as well. And of course we can go in as well and muck about with the serious business. So let's uh, muck about with this. Ooh, make yourself something nice and big. So there you go, Neoverb absolutely riddled with amazing reverb options to get your best reverb sounds ever. Well, those are some truly sumptuous reverbs, but now all their tails have died away and it's the end of another Top 5 Friday. So please hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell and we'll see you real soon. Ta-ra!